Hello. The archiving of the process value in a semantic PCS7 DCS is vital to any process manufacturing facility, right? We want to archive, we want to create uh, the trends and graphs of the process parameters, the values that, that are critical for the process, we want to archive the, those values, right? So uh, if you want to archive or you want to put the value of this process parameter in the database for future trend generation, curve generation, graphs generation, etc. We have to put this value into the database, right? If you look at the curve of uh, this process parameter, you wouldn't find any graph, right? If you want to refresh, there is no graph, right? The value has not been archived. So here I will show you how to archive. We can, uh, we can do it in the, this, this, this uh, station that you are uh, looking at, this is a server, right? This is a main server of the DCS. But we will not do it in the tag logging. We can also do it here, right? Once I go to the tag logging, I will add the that process parameter. Uh, which I intend to archive but this is the offline the, that's, that would be offline tagging by principle uh, offline archiving sorry by principle and by SOP I have to go to the engineering workstation right this is the system where the entire DCS has been configured the entire hardware of the PCS has been uh, DCS have, has been configured, the logic and the networking and the various settings of the WinCC and Scala. So I will open the WinCC. I'll go to the tag logging, double click. Process value archive, new tag. So this is actually the list of all the process parameters that have been archived, that have been stored in the uh, database of this uh, DCS system, that is the semantic PCS7. I will add an, an, another one. The tag of that process parameter was call wave feeder underscore FB well these are actually the tags of the function block I wish and uh, I intend to store this one the call underscore WF underscore uh, FB dot MV the mirror value of the process parameter press OK Save. Now the value has been pushed to the database. Now I want to apply the changes to the to the process server the, to the DCS server. I will go to the semantic manager. I will go to the operator station line two server one. This is the main server. Here I will go to the PLC. First, I will compile the, the entire uh, SCADA and then I will, down, I will download. And once I do that, the graph of the process parameter will start to appear here uh, in the main server, right? So that is the procedure of how we archive process values in semantic PCS7.